are set to go. Second straight game between these teams headed over time. Rangers won 5-4 in New York on the sixth. Flames hope to return the favor. Back with Foley, Anderson out for Calgary. Heedle, Panarin, and Fox for the Rangers. Overtime underway. And Fox on the puck. Sure would be nice to have Lindholm. Not going to lie in this situation. <laughs> And we haven't really talked about that, but Lindholm not here in this game. I think part of this hockey club for Kyle was like, who's expecting to have it. Maybe here's Heedle, trying to line with Rowan. Stopped by Markstrom as he couldn't get a clear shot away. Flames have possession now, Anderson with a puck. He'll bring it out of his zone, slowly. Lost the puck. Not a bat, but he's knocked down by Heedle. Rangers take control, but Tavola trying to force a turnover on Panarin. As they go into the corner, Defoe still battling. Panera knocks him down. This is let it go. Dubé looks like he might have got a on the high stick. Now we get a penalty, and that'll be a high sticking call as Dubé in that scrum when the corner got clipped up high, and Calgary will get an overtime power play. And is it going to be two or four? I think it might have got him in the eye. Not a smart play here by Benaren at all. He's gone for the game. And before that, Heedle here walks right in. And Toffoli with some good back pressure here to make uh, the function to get down and make the save. And this turned out to be a starting to be a pretty good battle between two players. And Dubé comes in, and there's the high step. It's actually Fox right here. Panera thought it might have been him, but it's... Yeah. Adam Fox who goes off. It's a two-minute penalty. It's time for And a four-on-three power play. Calgary calls a timeout. Drama here at Scotiabank Saddledome. Kirk Muller drawing out the play. Everybody knows their assignment. And the same was going on on the Ranger bench. So Tafoli, Huberto, Backlund, Anderson out for Calgary. And obviously this is where face-offs become so important here in these situations. Savannah Jad on the draw out there with Truba and Lindgren. That's the end of Savannah Jad. He's yep. trying to jump the gun there and gets kicked out. Truba has to come in and take the face-off. Defenseman and Backlund wins it. Link sent it up to the power play overtime. Here's to Foley. Back with fans. Huberto. Lead on by Lindgren. Truba gets the puck around the boards. Can't get it past Anderson. Good job to cut it off. Anderson to Foley. Backland. Switches spots with Tyler to Foley. Finds Anderson. Backland. Anderson. Huberto's in front. Anderson and Backland switch spots. To Foley comes across. Anderson feeds it over to Huberto. He surveys, shoots the back, tips it in, Flames win in overtime. It's fair to say the Flames needed this after the week they have had. And first of all, Anderson with a beautiful keep in here on the boards to keep this play alive. And then isn't it fitting, Humano, who's probably had his best game as a flame, sets this play up, throws it towards the net, walks the middle of the ice, and a beautiful kick by Backlund gives the Calgary Flames a huge, and I mean huge, two points after a week or last couple of days, anyway, of adversity in this market. Only fitting after all the noise last couple of days that Huberto puts a couple of points on the board, sets up the game winner. He was really good. Backlund, eighth overtime winner of his career. Flames stop the hottest team in the National Hockey League. Rangers do pick up a point.